in today's episode Iridium Server. So, stay tuned. Hello and welcome to Poseidon Tech. In today's episode we will review Iridium Server and how you can easily build your own using a Raspberry Pi. In a previous episode we controlled our smart devices using Iridium Lite. So we controlled KNX, Philips Hue and many other devices using the beautiful interface of Iridium Lite. As you can see here, the control of these devices is so easy. We also created the KNX button that can turn on and off this Philips Hue light. This was a simpler routine inside Iridium light that works only when the application is running. So, when the application is closed, then the routing doesn't work. That's why we need a server in order to allow routings and schedules work 24-7. And more specific, Iridium Server. From Iridium Mobile website, you can buy a plug-and-play server, like this one, or you can build your own by using a Raspberry Pi. So, let's start! For this project we will need 1. Raspberry Pi 3 1 SD card 8 to 16 GB maximum and 1 power supply for our Raspberry. First, insert the SD card to a card reader. The first step is to format the SD card. For that reason we will use the SD card formatter tool. Select the SD card. Give a name and press format. From my Redium Mobile website, go to Support. Under Documentation, go to Iridium Server. Go to Preparing Hardware for Work. And choose Iridium Server RPI. Here you can find all the steps for creating an Iridium server using a Raspberry Pi. Also you will find them the recommended operating system for your Raspberry. So follow the link and download Raspbian Jesse Lite. Open Etcher tool in order to write the operating system to the SD card. Select the image with the operating system. Select your SD card and press flash. After a while the SD card is ready. Now remove the SD card from the card reader and insert it again. Ignore all the messages about formatting the SD card. Inside the root folder of the SD card, create an empty TXT file with name SSH in order to enable SSH without using a monitor. Safely remove the SD card. 
Remove it also from the card reader and insert it to Raspberry Pi's SD card slot. Connect Raspberry to your local LAN using an Ethernet cable. And at last connect the power supply. We will connect to Raspberry Pi through SSH using PuTTY, but first we must find its IP address using Advanced Port Scanner tool. Just press Scan. Here you can see the IP address of Raspberry. Open PuTTY, write Raspberry's IP address, Login with username Pi and password Raspberry. From Iridium Mobile website, copy the command for i3 Lite Server in order to download the latest version of i3 Lite Server. Back to Patty, press the right mouse button in order to paste the command and press Enter. Install i3 Lite Server by using this command. Don't forget to change the default password. At last, let's change the IP address from DHCP to static following this procedure. Change the IP address, subnet, gateway and domain name servers according to your local LAN. Press Ctrl X, press Y, and Enter. Finally, reboot your Raspberry. Open PuTTY and write the new IP address. Login. Let's check if Iridium server is running. Everything looks fine, so we can exit from SSH. It's time to open our i3 Lite project. Go to Config. Go to Server and press Select Server. Choose your Raspberry Pi. Press Activate. Restart your project. Go to Config and synchronize your project with the server. It's time to set the remote access. From Server menu, under Project Control, choose Work Mode and Auto Switch. Press Local Wi-Fi and write the SSID of your Wi-Fi. So, when a panel is connected to your Wi-Fi, the connection to the server will be local, otherwise will be through cloud.
go to Routines. Press Create Routine. Select Type for Server. Give a name. So, now, when the KNX button will be on, the Philips Hue light will be also on. Let's create also the routine for OFF. Don't forget at the end to press Synchronize from Server Menu. Let's test it. All our devices are now controlled through server, even if we are connected locally or remotely. The KNX button can control the Philips Hue light, but this time through server, so our routines can run 24-7, even if we close the i3 light up. Now it's time to add a schedule, but first we have to correct the time. From Server menu, choose Time and Date. From Zone, choose your time zone. And press Synchronize. Open PuTTY. Connect to your Raspberry and reboot it in order the time to be corrected after the change of time zone. As you can see now, we have the correct time. Go to Schedule and add one. Give a name. Press Add Event and set your starting time. I will not change the date since I want my schedule to be daily. Set also an ending time. From repetition, you have plenty of options. But for now, I will choose every day and repetition end never. Create a routine. Select type for server. Give a name. Under when, Choose Schedule and select your Schedule and Start. So, at starting time of the schedule, all KNX lights will be on. And the color of Philips Hue light will be red. Of course, we need a routine for the ending time of the schedule, where all the lights will be off. Finally, synchronize your project with the server. As you can see, the schedule is working. That was Iridium Server. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my tutorials, consider subscribing to my channel. See you in the next episode.